Hi there, my name is Zach Smith with Absolute High TN and welcome back to our guide to High TN injection molding machine models. This is part two of our video series featuring the High TN Mars machine model, which you see right here behind me. I'm in our warehouse in South Carolina. So for those of you who aren't familiar with High TN International, uh, please take a second, pause on this screen. And if you're not familiar with Absolute High TN and what we have to offer the US and Canadian markets for injection molding machinery, also, please take a second to read through those. Now, let's dive into this Mars machine and the kind of general overview. So the Mars has been around since 2007, and now that we're in 2020, we are on the Mars 2S model. So a couple different generational changes, and we have sold over 250,000 of these units since 2007, making this the best-selling injection molding machine in the world by far. So when we're doing over 28,000 of these machines, uh, produced and sold into the markets globally, you're going to see a huge economies of scale factor. So you're going to see significantly lower lead times with that many machines moving through the factory floors. Uh, you're also going to see significantly lower costs both up front and down the road for parts and, and availability because these machines are going into global markets and use standardized components that are readily available on local markets. So we don't have too many proprietary parts, so you're not going to be spending a lot of money downstream on these. Now what makes the, I guess, Mars machine tick would be the patented high TN drive systems. These are servo hydraulic gear pumps uh, where essentially it's a closed loop system instead of the traditional open loop hydraulic system where you have a pump that's continuously running and consuming energy. You have on demand power with these servo motor gear pumps. So you're going to improve your process controls and you're going to improve your energy consumption rates. Now, let's go into the main two parts about this machine, which would be the clamp and the injection unit on the Mars. Uh, all Mars machines do feature a five-point toggle design. It's a proven technology. It's been around for quite some time now, but they do make continuous improvements to it, and it does feature an advanced mold protection system. So, again, this is controlled by the servo motor gear pump system, so you do have lower energy consumption. Now, on the injection unit, there are a couple things I do want to point out here. Uh, the first thing being these twin pulling cylinders. These are essentially for carriage motion and also to prevent any kind of nozzle blowback. You do have some nice linear guide rails right here that the injection unit sits upon. And if you can actually look right here, you can see how elevated this injection unit is, making it very easy for user access, uh, whether you're going in to make the uh, adjustment for a pivot, for a screw and barrel change, screw tip change, checkering change, what, whatever it might be. Or if you're just going in there to clean, it makes it extremely easy and simple to get out. Now, the machines themselves are a one-piece rigid base. They've been heat treated uh, at the factory. Now, until you get up to the 527 US ton or the MA4700 model, that's when we start splitting into two pieces because of logistics. But um, I do want to point out also that our uh, injection units are very interchangeable. So whether it be a you know, project where we're looking at a very small tie bar spacing, so you need a large clamp, but a very small injection unit or shooter. Uh, we have you covered there, depending on the application, or vice versa. So there's a lot of interchangeability between the clamp and injection unit availability. Now, this machine features the Kaba control. This is a very user-friendly controller. It has a lot of great features added in. We do have a free... Um, demonstration or training tool that we do give out to customers where you can walk through and see all 72 screens on this cable control but generally speaking most of our customers have a very easy time getting familiar with the screens the language between uh, let's say XYZ brand and, and our cable control on the Mars machine are, are very easy to understand there's not a huge learning curve that you have to go through and a lot of customers really appreciate the ease of use on this machine but also the capability that it has when it comes to some of the more advanced functions. Now, one thing that's kind of big on the Mars machine that a lot of people are, are appreciative of and, and looking more into now, especially with this COVID-19 pandemic going on, would be the process monitoring and remote access. So the cable control and the Mars machine themselves both feature setups for remote access and one thing that we found quite a bit with our service department is that the majority of service calls into our service department are significantly simple fixes that we can help the customer, whether it's over the phone or online once we tie into the computer and the uh, machine on site. So we 
do urge our customers to look into these options, whether it's IQMS or any other type of remote access control. But our machines do come standard with an Ethernet port for tie-in. Now, when it comes to process monitoring, it again, it depends on what your application is and what your facility or company prefers for the process monitoring and what your actual application is. So we do have a few different things to offer you. It just, again, depends on what you're doing. Now, the machine sizes, we do have quite a range. We go all the way from 67 US tons all the way up to 3,700 US tons just in this Mars platform. So right here, you'll see this is a much smaller, this is a 280 ton machine, the MA2500. And then this is an MA10,000, so that's an 1,100 US ton machine. So generally speaking, they look pretty similar, except for when you get up to the big boy status. Uh, the shot sizes do range quite a bit from just over 1.6 ounces all the way up to 1,464 ounces. So again, depending on your application, we'll be able to spec a good size machine for you that'll fit your application. Speaking of applications, what is this machine specializing? Nothing too particular, but it's a general purpose machine. It is a custom molder's dream where you can essentially mold whatever products you might throw at it. We can outfit these with, with bimetallic screw and barrels, or we can do rigid PVC, HDPE, you name it, throw this application at us. And, and generally speaking, as long as you're within about 80% of the bell curve of injection molding applications, this is a good machine to throw at whatever your project might be. Now, one thing I do want to make very clear is our list of standard options. These are seen on every quote that we send out. Um, now, the machines that come to the U.S. are 460 volt, three phase, 60 hertz, and there's a few other options. Again, you can pause this page. You don't have to, I'm not going to read all of them off for you, but the main point I do want to get across is that our machines come very loaded when it comes to standard options, which with some of our competitors might be add-on options, you know, line item costs. So, a lot of our customers may not need these, but it, they're very nice to have if a future project pops up and the hardware or option is already there. So some of the key takeaways I do want to you know, leave you with here with the Mars 2S and the Mars platform is again, it's the best selling injection molding machine for a reason. Standardization is key and, and with parts, availability, everything like that down the road, it makes your life a lot easier. Now, I do want to stress this too. This is the best price versus performance ratio you can find on the market here in the US and Canadian markets. Um, these are low cost, efficient machines that will save you money down the road and they run like workhorses all the time. Now, these are servo hydraulic machines and so typically when you're comparing these to your older standard open loop hydraulic systems, you're gonna see on average around a 30 to 80% uh, or sorry, 30 to 80% savings compared to your standard. Now, generally speaking, this might be enough to justify you purchasing a new machine instead of throwing money away at your energy bills. Um, again, I do want to stress how easy the CABA control is to use. However, it is highly functional. So if you could either join us for some of our training classes or maybe um, use our free software that we do give out that, that goes through in sort of a PowerPoint format where you can see all 272 screens and all the different accesses and, and key functions of the controller, I, I welcome you to do that. Again, low cost of ownership when you buy it and down the road, the standardization is key on this machine. Now, we always carry around 120 or so rolling stock machines in the U.S., and we do have a rolling inventory on top of the customer orders, so please reach out if you are looking for a new project and need a machine. The Mars 2S is a great machine for the majority of products that customers might be molding. So reach out to us, whether it's phone, email, please stick around for the next uh, video series. And uh, thank you for sticking with us and we look forward to talking with you soon. Thank you.